Hi, my name's Darren <coughs> Barton. Um, I'm a uh, cancer survivor. Um, I was diagnosed with bowel cancer um, in 2008. Um, and so it's almost two years ago. Um, but I'm here today to tell you what got me through, your, through my treatment. Um, in 2008, I changed jobs. I was at the Aboriginal Medical Service in Newcastle for 12 years, and I uh, was successful in getting a position as manager at the Eleanor Duncan Aboriginal Medical Service in Wyong. <clears throat> but um, before going down there, I was feeling a bit lethargic and um, tired, and had um, you know, problems with my bowels. Um, just going to the doctors, they done x-rays um, but didn't find nothing obviously with an x-ray. So I started my new job down in Wyong. Um, two months down there, um, I went in to see the, our GP, Dr Nigel Chikawa, who and I told him my problems and he just said to me, it sounds like you know, that's been going on a bit, bit too long. Um, so he sent me for a test to the gastroenterologist, Dr. Dave Parkin, and he, after interviewing him, he wasn't expecting to find anything. He said, oh, you're pretty, pretty young, so I'm not expecting to find anything. So after the, we had the uh, colonoscopy done, I come to, and the first thing he said to me is, we need to get you into surgery because you have a very large tumour. So, you know, this, this shocked me um, pretty much. Um, then <coughs> he then came out and told my partner, and she, she was pretty, she was a bit more shocked than I was. Um, I just, one of the first things I thought of was, was you know, oh, you know, typical being Aboriginal. You know, and um, you know, I guess you know this is it. I'm not gonna, not gonna live past the typical uh, lifespan that we have. We got, got home, had a good talk, uh, done the follow-ups with the surgeons, had the, had surgery, um, and then I was on chemo for seven months. Um, got through that, and um, just thought about you know, life a bit more, you know, took things a bit more, um, made things a bit more precious to you, um, especially your kids. And I guess changed the way I've, I've been living. Previously, you go to meetings, you'll swing through McDonald's or something like that, grab all the burgers and run, just eat on the road to the, to the next meeting and just not think. But then, you know, after all this has happened, um, I changed all my dietary habits um, and, uh, you know, starting to look at foods more healthier than, than, than my previous diet. Um, the three messages that I can tell people, it's, it's having a positive attitude. Because, uh, you know, if you think, you got cancer, that's it, then you know you probably won't last much longer. But my I've had a positive attitude um, after the chemo and I thought, well this thing's not gonna beat me. I'm gonna be around for a lot more years to see my kids grow up. Um, I've got three children, four children, sorry, one on the way. <laughs> uh, exercise, regular exercise, eating healthier. Um, and if you're a man, especially us males, who tend not to go to, to GPs, we um, need to go on a re more regular basis. Um, you know, every six months, every three months, just to have your bloods and all that sort of stuff tested, and just to stay on top of things.